Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper with another video about ICOMS ID51 Alpha Plus D-Star 2 meter 70 centimeter handheld radio. One of the many great features about this radio is when you're in the field you don't have to carry a repeater directory with you or a frequency list. The radio has an internal global repeater directory of all D-Star repeaters out there and reflectors and some of the more common FM analog systems. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install this chip in the side of the radio here, use the menu features in the radio to format this chip and create the file structure. Then we'll move that chip over to the computer with this adapter here, go to the internet, use the screen capture software on the computer, show you how I do that, download the most current list for this radio, install this chip back in the radio, import that updated global repeater directory, and then I'll show you how you use the D-Star repeater button here to select a repeater in your area based on your current GPS position. The radio has an integrated GPS and I have a lock as you can see here with the satellite icon so when I hit that DR button it's going to pull up repeaters that are close to my location and then I can select from those repeaters. We'll get an icon in the lower left hand corner with a compass giving me the bearing and the distance of that repeater. Okay so I got the chip in there I hope you can see it okay there's a little SD slot right there. There's a rubber gasket to cover it. So we got the chip in the radio. I'll get this back in the frame and then we'll go ahead and show you how to format that. We're going to hit the menu button. We're going to scroll down to the SD card. We're going to hit the center button. We're going to scroll down to format. And then we're going to say yes to format that chip. Now this takes about two minutes, so I'm not going to make you sit through that. I'm going to go ahead and shut the camera off, and I'll bring it back up when it's done. All right, we're getting close to the end here. Our two and a half minutes has lapsed. The formatting's done. Now I'm going to go ahead and unmount the SD card in the radio, turn the power off in the radio, and then remove the SD card from the radio and put it in the adapter and move it over to the computer. We're going to select yes. It's unmounted. I'm going to turn the radio off. I'll take the chip out, put it in the adapter, get it in the computer, and show you how it works over there. Okay, we put the SD card in the computer. It came up as an F drive, as you see here. We'll go ahead and expand this out. And here's a list of folders that were created when the radio formatted the SD card. The file we're going to download is a CSV file, so there's a folder for that, and it says repeater list, so this is where we're going to put the list when we download it. We're going to go to the website, dstarinfo.com, and I'll put a link down below. We're going to go to downloads, repeater list download for ID80 or newer radios. It's going to ask for a zip code. I'll use a local zip code, look up location, and then we're going to select the radio. This is an ID51 Alpha Plus, and we're going to hit download. And that's going to put it in the download folder. So we'll go ahead and open the folder. Make sure we got it. And there we have it right there. So there's a new repeater list. And if I open this up in Excel, you'll actually see all the repeaters out there. We'll go ahead and copy that. We'll come back over to our file structure here, to repeater list. And we're going to paste that in there. And now we have the newest list on the SD card. So we'll go ahead and stop here on the computer. I'm going to remove that chip and put it back in the radio, and I'll show you how I import. All right, we got the chip back in the radio. We're going to walk through the menu features and import that file that we just put on the chip. So we'll hit Menu, SD Card, Import, Import, Repeater List. There's the file name. We're going to hit OK, and this might take a minute or two, so I'll pause the video if it looks like it's going to take a while. And we hit OK, and we hit Yes, Yes again, and now it's importing. Actually, it's going pretty quick. Now we're loading the most current repeater list into this radio. It's completed. We're going to turn the radio off, turn it on. We'll turn it back on. And then we're going to pause a moment to wait for the GPS to lock up. As you can see here, the satellite icon is blinking, showing it's still looking to acquire a GPS signal. And once we have a lock, I'll come back to the video 
and show you how the DR button works. All right, we got a satellite lock as shown with the satellite icon up there being solid. I'm going to move to VFO mode for memory mode, so I'll press this button here. Now I want to select the repeater close to me. I'm going to press and hold the DR button down. And now I'm going to hit this button here to go right. Now I'm going to be able to select from the repeater list, a near repeater, and my TX history. We're going to look for a near repeater. We'll select that. Now you have three options here. You can look for all repeaters near you, only digital or DV repeaters, or only FM analog repeaters, but we're going to select DV repeaters. We'll go ahead and select that. Now it's searching the list based on my GPS coordinates, and we have a list of repeaters, two in Alexandria, Virginia, two in Tyson's Corner, Virginia. So we'll scroll down and select the NV4 FMC repeater. That little C there means it's a VHF, and if you scroll up, it turns to a B. That's the UHF. So we're going to select that, and there we have it. The two lines are already set up because we're in digital mode, so it's going to put out that routing CQ, 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 calling any station. It has the repeater call sign in it, and we're ready to operate. So there's an example of one of the great features of the ICOM ID51 Alpha Plus D Star Radio is the ability to use an internal repeater list. So when you're operational in the field, you don't have to carry around a repeater guide or a frequency list for the repeaters in your area. If you keep your list updated on your SD card every now and then by going out to the internet, you'll have the most current list out there for both digital and the most common FM repeaters. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with another video on ICOMS ID 51 Alpha Plus handheld radio and how to install an SD card, update your frequency list, and utilize the D-Star repeater or DR button on your radio. Thanks for watching, guys.